this iq13 is rated ip68 and 69 for splash water and dust resistance under iec standards where they are measured or tested in under laboratory conditions where we never see those laboratory conditions maybe it's zero temperature or maybe that's their favorable conditions where they can achieve this nonsense stuff but in our scenarios this iq13 comes with gap and it leads to some speculations around the internet about the gap and what about the water resistance stuff like that so let me test this right now the gap between mobile screen and panel is known as air gap or screen gap usually this gap occurs because the manufacturing tolerance during production small variations of uh, some kind of materials or glass and panel may cause the small gap and heat expansion stuff may be watch carefully the only way we can safely remove screen from the body is to start from speaker because it have some plenty of space but when you look inside the screen and the body you only see only gum attached to it to ensure it's too tight and sealed like that but there is a little gap that we have worried about the small paper size one but still there is a gum which inside so let me test this in water so fingerprint or any screen stuff not working when it's under water so if you are trying to take pictures in inside the water you have to click volume down button to capture it or record it whatever it may be but i suggest you do not use phone for this kind of stuff so after removing from water there is still water inside the sea port and speakers and let me try to clean it you can clearly see that water inside the sea port now let me try to insert the paper and see here you can clearly see the paper is clearly inserted and now you can clearly see the water is coming like a spreading across the paper and the piece was broken and I messed up right now so ultimately there is a lot more gap inside the panel and screen and uh, still wetty and it may leads to water droplet inside so body. the paper inside gap might create openings where dust or water particles can enter potentially compromising the waterproof or dust proof kind of stuff like ip68 and 69 so for devices to achieve ip68 and 69 standard it needs to be fully sealed like uh, we have to seal entire device in order to not enter any dust particles or water particles so here looks like iq13 is compromised with dust proof and waterproof stuff maybe but hope one thing you have to remember no device in earth or anywhere who says it is waterproof or water resistant like that they do not give you warranty or guarantee if it is water damaged even with a small spills or even with a big water jet spills they don't care it is water damaged and you have to pay bills in order to fix it so the main thing here is you have to use it carefully and if there is any gaps or anything between the screen and this kind of uh, frame then you have to raise a complaint in uh, like a service center and you have to talk with them in order to get it short but for me after submerging and uh, i feel like my mobile is little warmer sometimes using now on roads i feel like i'm getting scared of it let me put it in under rice bag or something for few hours hope that it works properly after that without heating issues so maybe this is the gimmick where they play or maybe it's um, it's some kind of a manufacturing defect maybe they are in a hurry way where they can produce the exclusive products to the world where they say we are exclusive number one to release snapdragon 80 light or something like that in india or maybe in other countries so that may be the reason where they compromise it, this proper sealing of device which fails ip68 and 69 where 
if there is a gap even a small gap then it compromises ip68 if it is compromised 68 and it's technically and implies simply it's not related to 69 or it does not support ip69 or it cannot withstand any water or dust spills longer time maybe it can support or maybe it can work but maybe what if any particles of water or dust inside the mobile and it can damage even potentially it can whatever it's happened so use carefully thanks for watching have a great day and uh, maybe you get some nonsense videos in this channel subscribe